You're live. Hello, welcome to Doodle Club number seven during this Corona season. I've got an unusual exercise to do with you guys today. Before you draw anything on your piece of paper, it's not like any doodling you have ever done before, okay? This is a little bit different, very different, okay? So let me show you uh, what I'm gonna do here on my bit of paper. Today's Doodle Club is, let's do dude, okay? Um, let's draw dude, doodle. And have you noticed that the L from club becomes his nose? And we'll put in his eyes. And then we'll do a one. A wandering crazy mouth um, because um, we're going to do um, wiggly line. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. Let me explain it first. Joanna, can you spotlight me, please? So, a long time ago, when I was training to be a teacher, I was taught how to tell stories. And one of the ways to learn a story is this little technique I'm going to show you. Okay. And this technique is you listen to a story and you don't draw any pictures. You just take one line with your pen and you take it on a journey. And you make the line um, different shapes. Joanna, can you mute everyone? I can hear other people's audios here just now. I'm going to show you, okay? So I'll tell you the story, okay? And we're going to start up here, okay? Can you spotlight my text here, my page, thank you. So we'll start up here and we'll go in this order, okay? Now let's say I was telling you the story um, like we did a few days ago, the Sword of Damocles, okay, for example. So you'd start off with the line here and you just wander along. I'm gonna choose a better color actually. I'm gonna choose, uh, let's go for green. So. The man was looking at this, he was looking at that, and then he was looking at this, and he was looking at this, and he was looking at that, and he was like, wow, that's amazing. And then um, he was very happy, you know? And we just do a shape that is kind of happy, uh, having the meal and things like that. And then he saw the sword, ah, 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 and he was scared. And then um, he was like terrified, shaking all the time, shaking, shaking, shaking. And then he was allowed to go home. And he was happy when he went home because he was away from the sword, okay? So what, what we're doing here is we're just using the line to share the feeling of the story. Now, this isn't easy to do, children. This is not easy to do. It's a big challenge, okay? And so all I'm wanting you to do is do a wiggly line. And the thing is, can you remember what part of the story I was telling, depending on the wiggles? What was, what was this bit? That was when he was calm at home. What was this bit? Oh yeah, this, oh, that bit was where he saw lots of different things. This bit was where he was enjoying the party. And then this bit was when he got terrified by seeing the sword. And then this bit was when he shaked. And this bit was the bit way, when he went at home. The point I'm making is it doesn't matter what line your shape, what shape your line makes. It's just your line. And if you want to, you can turn your line into something interesting like a little doodle and so on as well if you want. But your challenge today is one pen, 
one line all the way from beginning to end. And then we'll have a look at our different doodles after that. And then with the next story, when I tell you it the second time, the same story the second time, you could maybe add some doodles along the line, okay? And you can add some pictures and so on along the journey of the story. So hands up, thumbs up if you're ready for the story. And by the way, if you don't want to do the wiggly line and you just want to do a drawing, that's absolutely fine too. Uh, this is all for fun. Great, thumbs up, ready for the story. So, pens at the ready? Good. Top of the page for those of you that are uh, doing it, doing the line. I'm looking forward to seeing those lines. I'm wondering what lines you'll come up with. So I'm going to tell you the story slowly. There was a hare. And the hare was very proud of himself. He was boasting about how fast he was, how he could run here, how he could run there, how he could run everywhere faster than anyone else. And while he was boasting in front of all the animals, he looked down at the tortoise and he said, do you ever get anywhere? Tortoise looked up at him and he said, as a matter of fact, I do. And I get there faster than you might think. The, the hare laughed at this. He was chuckling and shaking with laughter at that, the bold tortoise. Well, the tortoise said to the hare, I'll race you if you want. And the hare said, you'll race me? He said, how can you possibly beat me? And the tortoise said, well, I'll give it a try. And the hare said, well, okay, if you want to embarrass yourself. So they got the fox to arrange the route. And the fox got them all lined up, ready, and bang, he shot the firing pistol and the uh, hare and the tortoise left the finishing line. Well, the hare shot off like a rocket in one direction and the tortoise plodded along. Well, it wasn't long before the hare turned back with a good lead and looked at the tortoise. And he thought to himself, I'll show him. And with contempt, he lay down at the tree, rested and watched the tortoise plodding and thought to himself, I'll have a nap. So he decided to show his contempt by having a nap and he drifted off to sleep. Well, it wasn't long before the tortoise plodded past the sleeping hare and he was close to approaching the finish line when the hare woke up and he thought oh where is that tortoise and he looked down to the finish line to see the tortoise there was no tortoise that took to the start line there was no tortoise then he looked towards the finishing line and he saw the tortoise getting close to the finishing line he got up and he ran as fast as he possibly could but the tortoise plodded across the line and won and the tortoise said at the end, plodding wins the race. And the moral of that story is, the race doesn't always go to the fastest. And so, or another moral might be, uh, pride goes before a fall. So let's have a look at some of your doodles, children. Let's see what we've got here. Joanna, can you show me some of these squid squiggles? Ooh, interesting. I like the jaggedy beginnings and the, yeah. Who's next? Thank you. Ah, Henry, we've got a lovely picture. Who's next? 
Ah, we've already got the wiggly lines and people appearing on the wiggly lines. Oh, I think I can spot the bit where he shot off at the top there. Who's next? Oh, I would love, this is great. This is great. Who's next? Let's keep them going. Let's just flick through them quite quickly with the squiggly lines. Thank you. Lovely. Ooh, interesting landscape. Got it. Okay. Oh, I love the, the bouncy. Yes, great. Who's next? Great, Leah. Next. I see it. Thank you, Joanna. Okay, children. Now, what I want you to do, I'm going to tell you the story again. And Doodle Club, we are all about learning to doodle in a way that will help you with your school notes. And we learn different things every time. So in the first Doodle Club, number one, we did stick people with faces. The second Doodle Club, we did the landscape uh, lines as landscapes underneath, simple ones. And then we did movement with the, with the uh, lines behind him. And then we did different eyes and what we can tell with the stories with eyes. And then Doodle 5, we did symbols. And Doodle 6, the last one, we did the wind and music and things like that. We did Compo yesterday, but we enjoyed Compo. Now today, we're doing this line all the way along to do the feeling. Now it's your turn to add some doodles along the story, add it in any way, and please use color as much as you can as well. Spend time coloring it in. Ready for your story? Okay. <clears throat> the hare was feeling very proud of himself. He was boasting with the other animals in the forest saying, I'm so fast at running. I think I'm the fastest runner here. And as he was boasting, he looked down on the tortoise and he said to the tortoise, do you ever get anywhere? And the tortoise said, as a matter of fact, I do. And I get there faster than you might think. <laughs> said the hare. He thought that was hilarious, the tortoise getting anywhere fast. And the tortoise looked at the hare and said, I'll give you a race. And the hare said, you race me? That's not gonna happen. And the tortoise said, well, if, if you don't want to, then fine. Uh, but the hare said, okay, I'll race you. So the fox was set the child task of setting the course and starting them off. So the course was set and the fox started them off and they left the start line and the hair shot off like an arrow. And he just flew along and the tortoise plodded. Well, it wasn't long before the hare decided to stop and look back at the tortoise. He was ages in front of the tortoise and he said, that tortoise challenging me to a race, I'll show him. So he sat down under a tree and he thought to himself, I could have a sleep and still win this race. So he closed his eyes so that everyone could see that he was sleeping to embarrass the tortoise. And the hare went to sleep. Well, the tortoise plodded past the hare very carefully so he didn't disturb the hare in his slumber. And it wasn't long before, as he approached the finishing line, that the hare woke up and thought to himself, Oh, right, I better finish this race. He looked to the start line, couldn't see the tortoise. He looked to the finish line and there was the tortoise just coming close to the finish line. The hare ran as fast as he possibly could, but the tortoise plodded across the line and won. Saying to himself, 
plodding wins the race. And that's the story of the tortoise and the hare. Oh, great. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> now, I tell you what, do you know what might be fun, right? Let's put all of our pictures up on the grid, okay? Let's do the gallery view. And why don't you point to the bit in your story that I mention, okay? So I'll say, where is your start line? Why don't you use a pencil so I can see it? Where is your start line? Okay. Brilliant. And where is the bit where he shot off? Ah, yes. Yes, the straight lines and so on. I get it. Brilliant. And then where is the bit that he went to sleep? Yes. And where is the bit where the tortoise was plodding along? Yes. Got you. Ah, right. Josephine, I see. Can you show me the plodding along on Josephine's there, please? Yeah. Ah, the little line squiggling like that. Plod, 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 plod. That's fast. That's great. That's useful. Right. Well done. Well done. Is there any of you that would like to share your, that tell the story with your picture? Hands up. Okay, we've got Josephine and we've got Henry. I'm going to go, for, oh, I'm actually going to go for Ada and Josephine will do it another time. Ada, why don't you switch on your microphone and we'll spotlight your picture and you tell us the story with your squiggle. Okay, so the hare was making fun of the tortoise for um, being so slow. And he asked him if he ever got anywhere. And the tortoise said he did. So he challenged the hare to a race. And the fox started them off. Once the hare was far off, um, he um, wanted to make the tortoise feel ridiculous. So he took a nap. The tortoise passed the hare um, slowly and quietly so he didn't wake him. And when the hare woke up, he looked at the start line, but the, the tortoise was nowhere in sight. So he looked at the finish line, and there was a tortoise nearly to the finish line. The tortoise crossed the finish line, saying, Plotting won the race. And the moral of the story is that the race isn't always won by the fastest. Fantastic, Ada. Do you know what? If anyone saw your picture like that, they would go, what does that mean? But the fascinating thing is, it totally means that story to you. And that's what I love about Doodles. Um, I, we've got some time. I would love to hear another one. Josephine, why don't you tell your story with your squiggle as well, please? We've got time for that as well. Go for it. Okay. So the hare was racing whenever, when the tortoise came along and asked if, and said, no. The hare said to the tortoise, do you ever get anywhere? The tortoise said, in fact, I do, and I'll race you to prove it. The hare was amused by the idea, so he decided to race the tortoise. And so at the, at the start line, the gun was shot off, and they started. The hare was halfway through when he decided to lay down and take a nap. And he was, as he was falling asleep, the tortoise just kept plodding on. And, and he plodded past the hare. When the hare awoke, the tortoise was near the finish line. And then he couldn't get there in time to win. And the tortoise passed the finish line saying plodding wins the race. Fantastic. Isn't that incredible? I just love this exercise because it's just lots of squiggles, 
but it makes uh, complete sense when you know what the mystery of the doodle is. And that's the important thing to remember children when it comes to doodling and for doodling, for taking notes and school notes, it's not about how beautiful it is. It's about how useful it is to you. Useful to help you listen, to understand and even to explain. And so we've come to the end of today's Doodle Club. And uh, as you know, I'm doing this during the COVID season to help you guys get have a little bit of fun in your day, educational fun in your day. And I'm Darius from Bullet Map Academy. I teach children how to organize their ideas visually, how to take notes at school, basically, uh, using mind mapping. And doodling is a very important part of that. So a number of you guys are my students. So thank you for joining me. And thanks for those people who are on YouTube watching this every day. Remember, one of the things I ask every single time is would you take a video of your story and talk through the story and tell, send that video to someone that you uh, love in uh, another home somewhere else. Ideally, someone who's a bit older, maybe your grandparents or uh, an uncle or an auntie or someone you've kind of adopted during this COVID season to give them a perk up. So hands up, how many fingers, how many people have sent a picture to someone? Henry, one. Andrew, three times. Jack, three times. Lexi, five times. Is that five times? How many times? Show me with your fingers how many times you've done it. Once, two times, four times. Uh, Josephine, five times. Brilliant. And how many of you have actually sent a video talk through? How many fingers have you got for that? Who sent a video talk through? Andrew, three video talk throughs. Brilliant. Great to see a teenager sending video talkthroughs of their story. And Josephine wants, brilliant. Thank you for doing that. People will love that. Um, I bet you they're appreciating that greatly. Actually, Andrew, your mom told me uh, that uh, they are really appreciating that. So that's the end of today's Doodle Club. Did you enjoy the squiggly lines? Thumbs up. Were you a little bit uh, nervous? Uh, about it. Shake your hands if you were nervous. How nervous were you about doing the wiggly lines? Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. 3.30, 3 o'clock. Same time. Bye. Same place. Bye. Switch on all the microphones and let's all say bye to each other. Bye. 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 Bye.